Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Mermaid Dreams Tarot. Today, I would like to speak about controlled remote viewing and why I feel this is one of the best ways to improve your psychic skills. And yes, I am using the word psychic, even though I find that a lot of uh, serious and professional remote viewers uh, seem to be afraid of that moniker, but it is what it is for me. It is our ability to psychically, with our mind, perceive things um, outside of our physical environments, uh, even our time, um, time and space um, at a distance. Uh, it, it has always been called, um, uh, also been called non-local perception because the term viewing is um, a little bit limiting to what this actually is. Uh, and if this piqued your interest, this is most definitely um, one of my favorite practices, one of my favorite modalities. It is a passion of mine and I can never seem to shut up about remote viewing whenever the topic comes up. But um, just to briefly go over remote viewing in itself was developed in, uh, in USA in uh, around 70s, maybe a little bit earlier. Um, you can look it up um, on Wikipedia. There's an okay article about it, but there's a lot of other uh, resources online about remote viewing. So it was developed in the California Institute, uh, Stanford Research Institute, and then later in the 70s got picked up by, of all places, U.S. Army. Yep, and so the government invested in uh, using remote viewing as means to, and this has been declassified and uh, since then been publicized the methods for about 20 years. Um, you might have heard uh, about the movie The Psychic Spy, right? So U.S. government was using these methods to... Um, spy on other countries and uh, perform all sorts of operations, including search and rescue, um, anti-terrorism, you know, things like that, using psychic means. It has been documented, it's been effectual, and it's so, unfortunately, it's been, seems like it's been swept under the carpet and forgotten for whatever reason, um, whatever. I'm not going to get into the politics of it. What I know is that this is one of the best for me especially control. I'm talking about control remote viewing. Controlled remote viewing is the type of remote viewing that has a very specific set of rigid protocols that you follow when you do what's called a session. Um, that is when you actually view whatever is that you're supposed to or perceive whatever you're supposed to be perceiving. And uh, there is a very good reason for using this protocol because it allows you to occupy your logical mind, your thinking brain with following a set of rules and be very specific where you can write, how you can write it, what kind of language you can use, what kind of things you can put on a paper while your intuition is free to deliver information to you. And this division of labor really works for me. But there are a lot of other ways to remote view, and there are debates on what actually remote viewing is, what it isn't. Um, it seems to invite some drama occasionally now and then, and I stay away from it. I really couldn't care less what is remote viewing and what not. As long as it gives you the results, as long as it makes you better, as long as it brings something of value into your life. And if you are somebody who relies on remote viewing um, as your profession, um, if you, let's, because it has been used in law enforcement and other areas to assist um, professionals with their tasks, um, as long as it gives you results, I really don't care what you use. But I enjoy controlled remote viewing. I feel like for me, the discipline of it really works. And the reason I feel it's one of the best ways to improve your psychic skills, your intuitive skills, your clears, all your clears, is because it uses all of them in one session. It is built on you being utilizing your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your clairgustance, um, your impressions of emotional, physical. So it's a full being kind of experience in one. And at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the session, you should have a written record. And I will show you a sample session here. You should have a written record of what you received, how you received, and not only there's hopefully a feedback, which means at the end of the session, you find out what the what the thing, what the target um, in terms of remote viewing, whatever you're viewing is called a target. So 
at the end of the session, hopefully you have a feedback on your target when it's revealed what is it that you're supposed to be perceiving so that you can see where what you got accurate, what you did not get accurate, because that is something that is very crucial in order to, um, to knowing um, how to get better. The idea here is to practice regularly and focus on the things that you got correctly, because I can tell you, there's gonna be a lot of things you're gonna get incorrect, and that is all right. We ignore that, but we take what we did get accurate, and you, your mind will be blown if you give yourself a chance to try it out. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, your life will never be the same. It is a gateway skill to uh, opening up a lot of other things. It did for me. It changed my life. I was not supposedly psychic right before I discovered remote viewing. But what we do is we focus on utilizing all of our clairs during one session. So it's like a workout. It's uh, what is a CrossFit, right? It's like a really intense psychic CrossFit. And at the end of it, you get to see, okay, I got this right. I got this accurate. I can see on the feedback that this is exactly what I was looking at, what I was perceiving. You can remember how that feels to be correct. So next time you do a session, next time you do a reading, next time you are um, in a situation and this feeling comes up, the feeling of this is correct, you trust it. And it builds more on that because the more you trust yourself when you get the correct information, the more readily you will bring it forth. And uh, it gets much easier as time goes on. So this is a um, sample se uh, session that I did as a training. So. All you need to do to practice remote viewing is a target and a safe target. And that's something uh, really is to be aware of because you don't want to be perceiving something that possibly could be, um, could be scary, could be troublesome, could be even disgusting. You never know. So be sure that if you are deciding, okay, I want to give this a try, go to the websites, go to the sources who offer safe targets, which means the targets free of any kind of violent content, because we are talking about perceiving things on a very intimate, deep psychic level, and sometimes physical level as well. So it is very important to know who is giving you a target. You don't know what the target is ahead of time. That would kind of defeat the whole purpose of the practice. But the people who are professional in this field, they take this very, very seriously, okay? Um, so beware of that. Don't just, uh, you know, somebody may come up to you and say, hey, can you help me look for this? And it could be something completely that you don't need to be looking at or perceiving. Don't do that. Don't do that. We don't, we don't accept targets from strangers. We don't accept candy from strangers, right? We don't get into strangers' cars uh, unless they're Uber. <laughs> it's a weird world. And we don't accept targets from strangers, okay? Even I wouldn't do that. I only accept targets from uh, trusted sources, trusted friends, and professionals. So this is I, all you need to do, need is your mind, some space, some paper, clear printing papers I use, and a pen, pencil, whatever. I prefer to use traditionally a black pen um, is used so that, I don't know, it's just is. It's the army, you know, developed this protocol. So whatever, they, they like things a certain way and that's what I, that's what I do. And uh, you follow this protocol and you do it a step by step and at the end, you know, it, it may be a couple of pages, maybe a bunch of pages, depending on the session. I'm not going to go over on how to remote view here because, frankly, this is, there are resources out there and there are a lot of free resources out there by people who are far more experienced and knowledgeable than me. I feel like it's not my place to teach you how to remote view, but I do want to bring my passion about the subject to you to invite you to research it for yourself, give it a try because for me, it is the go-to if I want to work out everything, everything psychically, I go to remote viewing. It's so much fun. It is a way to experience the world, um, certain things in it, events, the past, the future on such an intimate level that you really understand that Time really does not matter. Distance does not matter. Separation does not matter. Everything exists in this and now at the same time. And we only need to allow ourselves that moment of quiet acceptance and let it come to you because you don't need to force it. That's the thing is that's the beauty of this 
practice is that it's so easy to start it's so easy to do it even though it takes many many years if not lifetime to master it and that's why it's been i think called the martial art of psychic skills it is easy to start it's easy to try it it's easy to get instant results but if you're interested enough it will keep your interest for years to come because you will always find new ways to connect with the information and discover within yourself the depth and the connectedness to everything and that's what i love and then you discover other things that you may have not even realized possible when uh, the first time i've perceived a plant and perceived not just the plant but the being of that plant but the emotions of that <laughs> being that we call plant i was astonished and my life has never been the same i've never looked at plants the same again because i felt it it's undeniable and uh, yeah so this is remote viewing i highly highly recommend you trying it out i will put some links in the description um the links that i trust the businesses the pra uh, the practitioners and the teachers that i are considered to be world-class viewers i've taken their courses their free master classes but aside from that and i know that might sound weird but reddit if you are on reddit slash remote viewing has a great mod team and a great um library of free resources on how to do it and not just control remote viewing but i do believe they have other types i highly recommend checking them out because their mods are serious about they have weekly practices for it with safe targets and also that offers you an access to a community of other remote viewers that you can discuss and ask questions they also have a discord now a discord channel i'm not a part of it i don't understand discord i think i'm a little too old for that i can't figure it out but it is important to discuss it and ask questions and be curious about it, even if you don't believe it and you just happened to cross this video for whatever reason. And I, there's no coincidence. There's no coincidence. I don't want to say that the source led you to this video, but it kind of did. You clicked on it. Something that's how that's what happened to me. I've never heard of remote view until a few years ago when that word stuck in my brain. I looked it up and my life has never been the same since then. I hope that happens to you because I guarantee you it's going to be an improved experience. So remote viewing. Yay. Remote viewing helps you improve your intuition, your psychic skills, and I hope you give it a chance. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I hope you enjoy these talks, these videos. If you subscribe, if you share, that will help me um, to spread the word, spread the knowledge around, but you certainly don't have to. Um, I'm just here sharing my journey and I love doing it. And this is my passion. And I hope that you share your passion as well. All right. Take care. Thank you so much. Love you all. Bye.